Let's pray before we begin. Lord, please let us understand your word and put it in our hearts. May it shape our lives to be more like your Son. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Chapter 10 The Proverbs of Solomon A wise son maketh a glad father, but a foolish son is the heaviness of his mother. Treasures of wickedness profit nothing, but righteousness delivereth from death. The Lord will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish, but he casteth away the substance of the wicked. He becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligent maketh rich. He that gathereth in summer is a wise son, but he that sleepeth in harvest is a son that causeth shame. Blessings are upon the head of the just, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. The memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot. The wise in heart will receive commandments, but a prating fool shall fall. He that walketh uprightly walketh surely, but he that perverteth his ways shall be known. He that winketh with the eye causeth sorrow, but a prating fool shall fall. The mouth of a righteous man is a well of life, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. Hatred stirreth up strifes, but love covereth all sins. In the lips of him that hath understanding, wisdom is found, but a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. Wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. The rich man's wealth is his strong city, the destruction of the poor is their poverty. The labor of the righteous tendeth to life, the fruit of the wicked to sin. He is in the way of life that keepeth instruction, but he that refuseth reproof erreth. He that hideth hatred with lying lips, and he that uttereth a slander is a fool. In the multitude of words there wanteth not sin, but he that refraineth his lips is wise. The tongue of the just is as choice silver, the heart of the wicked is little worth. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom. The blessing of the Lord it maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrow with it. It is as sport to a fool to do mischief, but a man of understanding hath wisdom. The fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. As the whirlwind passeth, so is the wicked no more, but the righteous is an everlasting foundation. As vinegar to the teeth and as smoke to the eyes, so is the sluggard to them that send him. The fear of the Lord prolongeth days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. The way of the Lord is strength to the upright, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. The righteous shall never be removed, but the wicked shall not inhabit the earth. The mouth of the just bringeth forth wisdom, but the froward tongue shall be cut out. The lips of the righteous know what is acceptable but the mouth of the wicked speaketh frowardness. Matthew Henry Commentary on Proverbs chapter 10, verse 1 The comfort of parents much depends on their children, and, verses 2 and 3, The righteous may be poor, the Lord will not suffer him to want what is needful for spiritual life. Verse 4 Those who are fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, are likely to be rich in faith, and rich in good works. Verse 5. Here is just blame of those who trifle away opportunities, both for here and for hereafter. Verse 6. Abundance of blessings shall abide on good men, real blessings. Verse 7. Both the just and the wicked must die, but between their souls there is a vast difference. Verse 8. The wise in heart puts his knowledge in practice. Verse 9. Dissemblers, after all their shuffling, will be exposed. Verse 10. Trick and artifice will be no excuse for iniquity. Verse 11. 
The good man's mouth is always open to teach, comfort, and correct others. Verse 12. Where there is hatred, everything stirs up strife. By bearing with each other, peace and harmony are preserved. Verse 13. Those that foolishly go on in wicked ways prepare rods for themselves. Verse 14. Whatever knowledge may be useful, we must lay it up, that it may not be to seek when we want it. The wise gain this wisdom by reading, by hearing the word, by meditation, by prayer, by faith in Christ, who is made of God unto us wisdom. Verse 15. This refers to the common mistakes, both of rich and poor, as to their outward condition. Rich people's wealth exposes them to many dangers, while a poor man may live comfortably if he is content, keeps a good conscience, and lives by faith. Verse 16. Perhaps a righteous man has no more than what he works hard for, but that labour tends to life. Verse 17. The traveller that has missed his way and cannot bear to be told of it and to be shown the right way must err still. Verse 18. He is especially a fool who thinks to hide anything from God, and malice is no better. Verse 19. Those that speak much, speak much amiss. He that checks himself is a wise. Verses 20 and 21. The just is sincere, freed from the dross of guile and evil design. Pious discourse is spiritual food to the needy. Fools die for want of a heart, so the word is, for want of thought. Verse 22. That wealth which is truly desirable has no vexation of spirit in the enjoyment, no grief for the loss, no guilt by the abuse of it. What comes from the love of God has the grace of God for its companion. Verse 23. Only foolish and wicked men divert themselves with doing harm to others or tempting to sin. Verse 24. The largest desire of eternal blessings the righteous can form will be granted. Verse 25. The course of prosperous sinners is like a whirlwind which soon spends itself and is gone. Verse 26. As vinegar sets the teeth on edge and as the smoke causes the eyes, Verses 27 and 28. Is he that loves life? Let him fear God, and that will secure to him life enough in this world and eternal life in the other. Verse 29. The believer grows stronger in faith and obeys with increased delight. Verse 30. The wicked would be glad to have this earth their home forever, but it cannot be so. They must die. Verses 31 and 32. Wisely for the benefit of others but it is the sin and will be the ruin of a wicked man that he speaks what is displeasing to God and provoking to those he converses with. The right use is kept by the power of God, and nothing shall be able to separate him from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus. Please consider, how does this chapter apply to you? Thank you for listening. If you want to know more about Jesus and what the gospel means to you, then hit the video shown on the left of the screen and please don't forget to subscribe. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless your day. Hello, we are Mark and Pearl Lambert, and we are the ministers of Jesus Answers Prayers. If you like this ministry, please help support it. The link to donate is found in the description below. Thank you and God bless.